Hey, this is Stephen from Wild Stuff. Welcome to the show. If you're looking for the wintry wonderland that is the Barrington Tops when it snows, you've come to the right video. Stick around and I'll take you on a hiking adventure up the Corker Trail and spend two nights camping in a hammock at Wombat Creek and then put in a visit to Selby Alley Hut. The Corker Trail starts at a picnic area called Lagoon Pinch and it's just under 10 kilometres straight up the side of the mountain to get to Wombat Creek. There's no vehicle access at all, it's hikers only. Over the three to four hour hike, you climb about 800 metres of vertical elevation and end up at an altitude of around 1500 metres, which is pretty much the same as a lot of the ski resorts in the Australian Alps. I'm heading up on a Friday afternoon to set up camp and be ready for the snow that's on the forecast for Saturday and Sunday. I eventually made it to Wombat Creek and set up camp just on nightfall. It kept snowing throughout the day and didn't take long to build up a few inches deep on the ground. So time to give you a little tour of my uh, accommodation here. So there's a hammock bliss single uh, hammock strung between the two trees. I've covered it up with a Cedar Summit hammock tarp over the top. And it's just pegged down on either side. And inside, the reason why I can sleep so warm I have a sleeping bag in here. That's a Cedar Summit uh, Spark SP2 and that is tucked inside this heat reflective uh, bivy bag. It's an SLL bivy Pro and that thing's amazing. Then underneath that just a Cedar Summit Ultralight single air mattress just to insulate your underside so you don't get too cold from the, the wind passing underneath. Then I've got my uh, Helinox Chair Zero there, just acts as my little bedside table when I'm not um, not using it. My bag just against the tree. Plenty of hanging space for all my dry bags and accessories. And over on the other side, I like to string a little 
utility cord up between a couple of trees just for a little more hanging and organization space. For the most part, I had the place to myself and spent a lot of time sitting around and enjoying doing absolutely nothing. Though I did meet a few day hikers passing through and a couple of police patrolling the area on dirt bikes, they were more than happy to pose for a photo. Three more hikers arrived just as it was getting dark and we shared a campfire together. It was great to see Selby Alley Hut in the snow. This was built by the Newcastle Bushwalking Club in the 1950s as an emergency shelter for hikers. As I worked my way back down the mountain, the snow and ice gradually gave way to rain and mud. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more adventures.